problem two tells us that we have hydrochloric acid reacting with strontium hydroxide in a neutralization reaction. And right away, before I even read all the numbers in the problem, since this is stoichiometry and there's no equation given, I'm going to go ahead and write out the balanced chemical reaction. So hydrochloric acid is going to be a hydrogen ion crossed with just chlorine, the atom. So that would be HCl reacting with strontium hydroxide. Strontium um, has a positive 2 charge and hydroxide is OH with a negative 1 charge. Um, so strontium hydroxide would be SrOH2. So there are our two reactants. A neutralization is just a specific type of double replacement reaction. And so I know on the product side, my hydrogen is going to bond with my hydroxide to form water, um, H plus 1 and OH minus 1 uh, to form HOH, or you can also write it as H2O. Uh, and then my other product is going to be my salt, that is a product of my neutralization reaction, strontium bonding with the chloride ion. So strontium, once again, is positive 2, and chloride is minus 1. And we do need to re-crisscross to get the formula on the product side for strontium chloride. So we have our full reaction written here, but it is still not balanced, so we'll go ahead and balance it out by adding coefficients in front of each reactant or product. Right away I notice that my number of hydroxides on my reactant side is 2, and on my product side I only have 1 hydroxide. So I will go ahead and put a 2 in front of HOH to fix that. Then that doubles my number of hydrogen atoms, and by that I mean the hydrogen that's not part of the hydroxide. So I have two hydrogens over here, and only one hydrogen um, on my reactant side. So I'll also double the HCl, um, and that happens to go ahead and fix the number of chlorines so that it matches what I have on the product side. Um, and so I've added the coefficients that I need to add, um, and I'll just go ahead and fill in ones everywhere else to remind myself that this reaction has already been balanced. Um, so ones in front of everything else. So now that I have a balanced chemical equation, I can start to approach the stoichiometry in the problem. It tells me that I have 325 milliliters of 0 0.8 molar um, hydrochloric acid, and it's mixed with a separate amount, 235 milliliters of 0 0.40 molar strontium hydroxide. Um, and so I have two amounts of reactants separately, which means that this is a limiting reactant problem. I'm going to have to figure out which amount of reactant is the limiting reactant. And then after I do that, I can figure out what is my theoretical yield in grams of water, which is what the problem is asking for. How many grams of water will be produced? And so I can do this one of two ways. I can either take both of these and convert them all the way to grams of water, or I can convert them both to moles of water uh, and then compare those and just take the one that is the limiting reactant all the way out to grams. Uh, so either way is just fine. Um, we'll start by setting up our dimensional analysis with our volumes here. Um, so 325 milliliters, 325 milliliters of hydrochloric acid of HCl. Uh, right away I know I need to take my milliliters to liters because my molarity is moles per liter. And there are 1,000 or 10 to the third milliliters in one liter. Um, then I will take my liters to moles using my molarity. Liters um, goes to moles using the molarity value provided, the 0 0.8 molar. 0 0.8 and the zero zeros are just for significant figures, so 0 0.8 moles per one liter. Uh, and now that I have moles of HCl, I can go ahead and do my moles to moles step to convert to moles of water. So moles of HCl goes on bottom, and then moles of H2O goes on top. Now to get these numbers, we'll just look at our balanced chemical equation. Two moles of water for every two moles of HCl. So this is actually a two to two ratio.
So now we can go ahead and solve this first one. 325 divided by 1,000 times 0.8, uh, and then I don't need to multiply or divide by 2 because they cancel out, gives me 0 0.26 exactly um, moles of H2O. Um, so now let's set up the second amount of reactant and see which amount of reactant it gives us more product, and that one uh, will be in excess, and the other one will be limiting. So this time we'll start with 235 milliliters of strontium hydroxide. So first we will take 10 to the third milliliters in one liter. Um, then we'll use our molarity, so we'll take our liters to moles using our molarity value of 0 0.4 molar. Um, and then we can use our mole to mole ratio here. So moles of strontium hydroxide goes to moles of water, H2O. There are two moles of water in the equation, and there's only one mole of strontium hydroxide. So this is a two to one ratio here. So if we calculate this out, we get 0 0.188 moles of water, which means that the strontium hydroxide is our limiting reactant. Uh, so we no longer need to use um, the number of moles of water that is not going to be our theoretical yield. We will continue with this moles of H2O and we'll go ahead and convert our moles to grams to get our theoretical yield here. Um, and the molar mass of water is about 18 grams per mole. So to multiply by 18, that gives me 3.384 grams. But of course, we do need to round to appropriate sig figs. And if we look back at our problem, all of the values given in the problem have three significant figures. Um, and if the sig figs were different, then we would consider the sig figs that are part of our limiting reactant calculations. We just consider the sig figs on the values for strontium hydroxide that we ended up using. Everything does have three sig figs though, so we'll go ahead and round to 3.38, and this is our number of grams of water. So put our substance on, and we can box our final answer in here.